Hey, what's going on guys? Today I am bringing you Terramorphous soloed on over level 8. There you can see I finally got my over level 8 on Kept Herald. And I got my Rough Rider shield still. And this fight was a about a 20 minute fight and I managed to cut it down to about half. It was a bit ridiculous, obviously very long. He's a lot more invincible than I thought, especially since he doesn't get slagged 100% of the time. Like, um, even though the Grog Nozzle has like a 60% chance of slagging enemies, for some reason, like some invincibles can, like, uh, sort of, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but they just, like, don't take the slag damage. And this is, like, an example. Like, Pyro Pete, he takes the slag damage easily, but, like, you can see Tower Morph is here. He just not doesn't take the slag damage a lot of the time, so. The fight took a lot longer. If he got slagged a lot easier, like Pyro Pete, for example, the fight would have been a lot easier. And it probably would have been maybe 12 minutes instead of like 18 or 20 minutes, or however long it was. But I managed to cut down a lot of it, and I pretty much showed main highlights of it. And other than that, it's just raw footage. So I'll come back to when a big part happens. So one big part of the fight 
during the war, so you can see, like, hardly half his health gone down. And I skipped a couple of minutes into, uh, this part. And you can see one big part of it was these tentacles. They were just huge cock blocks, just getting in the way and everything. And you can see here, there's just a whole bunch spawning in front of me. And all I want to do is damage Tyromorphus, but these things are just getting in the way. It's complete bullshit, in my opinion. But it did help, because they would drop ammo and health, so if the Grog Nozzle wasn't working, I could just go pick up health. And it would be a lot more helpful in that case. But other than that, it, they were just annoying and they were just pointless. I don't see the point of them being in there. But, like, look at this. They're just going back and forth, just swinging around, hitting them. It's making it a harder target for them to hit, too, because they just swing around. And then they even spawn in front of you. And it's just really annoying. And I really just wish that could be patched. Even though the game's three years released, so they're not planning on patching. And then Tower Morphus goes in front of me too, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> just ridiculous. Now right here, this part scared the hell out of me because I- What he does here is he does this black hole thing that's supposed to damage you and you're supposed to die. But what he does beforehand is that he will destroy the two rocks on the side and then do it. So then you know that he's about to do it. He did not do that. And usually I go behind the rock when this happens, like the little rock that for some reason you're invincible behind. And it wasn't working. So I just constantly shoot him. The good thing is that I am doing a lot of damage. But the bad thing about it is that I was terrified I almost died. And luckily because of the grog nozzle, my ass was saved. But... Like I said, he was he didn't destroy the rocks that are on the left side and the right side. And he's supposed to do that first, because normally when you do the fight, you hide behind the rocks. Like, that's what was originally the plan. And then people found out about the glitched rock. But the original plan was for you to, like, hide behind rocks and stuff. And he would get rid of those rocks, and then he'd suck you in. And he didn't destroy the rocks for me. He scared the, scared the hell out of me. But luckily, I was able to survive somehow with the grog nozzle that thing is just the mvp of this fight really <laughs> now in a few seconds we're actually going to uh skip about five minutes of the fight probably way more than five minutes i don't know it's a long time because like i said the fight was 18 minutes long 20 minutes long something like that i don't know long time but uh there's gonna be a transition in a few seconds and i'll be right back Alright, I'm back. You can see right here we're getting towards the end of the fight. Yes. Very, very low amount of health. And this is when he falls. Now, out of everything that he can drop, since he's invincible, he can drop any legendary in the game. He's always guaranteed class mod. Out of everything that he drops, he drops the Slayer Tyromorphous class mod for a Gunzerker. Now, it's cool because it's a Gunzerker class mod, but I don't really need it because I use the Chaotic Eva Mon class mod. So, in the end, it really turned out for no point. Thanks for watching.